All right, what's up, YouTube? So this is gonna be a Pantagruella uh, strawberry overview. Um, so this is the only ripe one that I have at the moment. Uh, so I'm gonna start with uh, disease resistance. So really, um, these plants have been in my garden for about two seasons now. And uh, you can basically see the uh, the leaves are, are pristine. There's not much going on. You may look in uh, each grow bag and you might see a, one or two leaves here or there that might have a, a couple of red spots like that. Um, you can just pick those if that bothers you. But other than that, not much issue. So these are basically just the older leaves. I'm gonna leave those on there since that plant doesn't have too many leaves and I wanted to make some sugars. But I'm about to pick that berry anyway. Um, Vigor, this, this uh, variety definitely puts out berries. Uh, this is my earliest variety. And I mean, even when when the temperatures don't get too warm yet, it, it, it just starts putting out. I think I started harvesting around late February or early March. But this is definitely always my first variety to um, to be ready for harvest. And then, um, in early season, it makes some huge berries. Uh, I haven't been watering and we haven't been getting rain. So that may explain the fruit size right now. But uh, definitely when it's, when it's under irrigation, these berries can get big. I, I say at least uh, two to two and a half to, to uh, three times this size right here. So I think I may have had those on video. If I did, I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description. But um, so the the plants is, themselves, they don't really take over. Uh, each plant is is uh, they they stay within their own uh, space. So they can be packed. They can be uh, packed in closer together, which is what I would prefer to keep these weeds out. So normally, somebody uh, or the, normally the um, the rules will be to plant a strawberry plant right here. I'm gonna pull this one off. That looks terrible. But uh, a strawberry plant will be right here, and then I have a blueberry right here. But another, another strawberry will be right here. Uh, I think I'd rather have this one right here and then another one about right here. So, so they stay they stay within their own space and they don't produce produce too many leaves, but they do produce a lot of fruits. I think they produce more fruits than leaves, honestly. I mean, I've been getting berries for two months straight, and I haven't seen any slowing in production. As long as you keep those weeds out. Um, you don't have any issues. But uh, you can see many blooms still coming on. It's uh, May 1st. Many blooms. So we're about, we're about to be three months in. I gotta uh, come and stake some of these new fruits. Um, as far as runners, I had a few, I had a few more plants than this. And then this variety didn't really like the transplant very well uh during that during the summer months so i lost a few plants but i still have i still have a, a few um, and these have been putting on berries i just got to clean up some of this grass that's shading it out and and get all of this stuff these berries staked that's the main thing getting those berries staked to uh, maintain fruit quality so you don't really have to worry about disease much. Um, uh, vigor, it's, it has a mild, I mean, a medium vigor. And taste, the taste is just excellent. Um, ripening signs. The seeds will basically, um, before the berry turns this uh, bright burgundy scarlet color, uh, the seeds will, the seeds will uh, mostly be yellow. Um, you can harvest it when they're about 60% red. They start turning red once they're ripe. But you can harvest it at about 60% red. I'm a, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. So you can still see on the back of this berry, that's a little bit uh, brighter than the front of this berry. So it, it could have went another day, but I'm going to harvest it right now just for this video.
That's a very beautiful berry. Um, scar, I mean, uh, uh, Pantagrella just makes a, a excellent quality berry. So uh, without further ado, we're going to test this now. Breaks me it Very juicy. This one tastes real sweet. So I definitely recommend Pantagorella if you if you can see the berry size. It's a super large berry. Um, yeah, y'all, that's Pantagorella. I definitely recommend this variety. Not too much maintenance on this um on this on this variety at all. I haven't been coming by and pruning any leaves at all. I haven't been uh, doing anything. I've just been picking berries. So, what I mean by getting them staked is this. You see how I have this flower, this uh, big flower cluster coming from this one plant. Um, I just stake those berries right on there, tie it to this little stake here. And this is the plant they're coming from. Well, it's coming from two plants. You can see two flower clusters. And that keeps, it, that keeps the insects off. See y'all in the next one.